Hi guys, welcome to this vlog. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about the uh, the shredder, <laughs> aka the the roulette machine or fixed top betting terminals and bookies. Oh my goodness, the shredder, the shredder. Um, such an apt kind of name. You would just feed in those twenty pound notes, um, and uh, yeah, it would just shred it, right? <laughs> you know, um, God. When did I start? When did I start? Start playing the, the fixed or betting terminals when I was like 18. Straight in the bookies. Would do football bets. Would, was rubbish at those. Do horse racing bets. Rubbish at those. And then I started going on the roulette machine. Um, I think you might have heard of me. Heard me talk about this in previous vlogs. But yeah, that's how I kind of got hooked in. And very quickly, these these machines were like... It was like my new hobby. It was my, At first, it was like my new friend, if that makes sense. Um, I, st I sort of stopped going to the bookies with my friends, like casually on a Friday afternoon, um, and then I, st I learned how to drive and I was starting to go like all the time um, on my own. I was like, I classed myself as quite an introvert, extroverted introvert, but um, quite introverted, quite independent, quite happy in my own skin, like would just crack on. Um, and so... Gambling kind of suited me. These these machines, it was like, this is my own hobby. It was secretive. I quite liked it. The isolation as well. I was like, I like this. Um, obviously, all that goes with the, the, the bookmakers, with the kind of the appeal of, um, you know, feeling, I don't know, feeling masculine or feeling like a man, certainly as a young guy. Sense of community, etc., etc. Um, she just on that note, like, You'd always have the old boys, right, in the bookies, like with the racing post, like studying, studying the form and, you know, getting the free teas and coffees and stuff. I always remember, like, they would, like, frequently, often you'd hear them, like, don't go on those machines, like, nah, stay way clear of those machines. And I knew they were right. I knew they were right. But yet I was just so hooked on these bloody machines, especially the roulette. Um I can hear the sound now, you know, that, that sound, uh, the, the ball spinning round. You're making that kind of kind of noise. Um, and then as soon as the ball would, would, would go, would spin, you'd be like, oh, that's not hit my bet. You, you'd have this sort of like, you'd know where the thing was spinning. Um, <sighs> mad, isn't it? 20p roulette. Um, and then all the different types of roulette. And then you have like 5p roulette. You have key roulette, key bet roulette. Um, I quite I can never pronounce this. Sorry if I get this wrong, but it's, it's like Bagatelli in William Hill. It wasn't like it would go down like this pinball sort of action. I quite like that. Um, I mean, I'd spend hours, hours there. Do you remember like the old days where you'd have like loads of people, you know, like watching you? Um, I was also one of those watchers, as it were, uh, 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 as well. But um, yeah. Just, just hooked on these bloody machines. It's really weird for me now, like being a year or so. Uh, I don't count my days, by the way. Um, like free from gambling, like it's a, it's a big blur. It's one big blur. Like thinking back, like would have spent like today, right now, it's a Sunday. Like I would be in the bookies. Period. Like a couple of hours, go off to the bookies. Um, being self-employed, I'd be in the bookies. That was a common thing as well. The amount of builders you'd see, or painters and decorators, you'd be like, "Oh right, okay, yeah, just just off doing my bets." Um, but the amount of cash as well, I don't know about you, but like I was always, you know, being self-employed, I was dealing with a lot of cash, so it just became like liquid. Like the money was just, yeah, liquid. Like I'd have the money, go and put it in the bookies. You know, and then just cash just became this thing, right? It was it lost its value. It was like, oh right, okay, I've just won a hundred quid off the the roulette. Like, okay, great, cool. <laughs> I'll know I'll put it back in, or you know that classic. You you know you get your ticket and it's like one hundred and eight quid. Right, I'll just I'll take I'll take the hundred, but I'll just chuck the spare eight quid back in. Um, the amount of times you do that. And then just try and build. You know, it was never enough. It was never enough. Um, yeah. But anyway, I mean, I could, you know, go on and on about these roulette machines. You know, people smashing them up. Um, the characters you would see as well. 
the secretiveness of it. You never speak. You just sit there in silence. But also like having a little pit. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, what's he? Well, what's his credit? Or like, oh, he's just one big or whatever. Like all the unspoken stuff as well. Um, was mad. But um, yeah, yeah. Actually, just one final thought. Actually, was my brother. Um, my younger brother is like twenty one. Um, he's got a friend that I would see in the bookies quite a lot. This is before the reduced spin, of like two pound a spin, when it was like a hundred quid in in twenty seconds. But I would see his friend, and I would look at him and go, "He's an addict. Like, he's definitely got a problem." <laughs> but the weird, the weird thing was, I was like trying to deflect my own problem. I was like, "Well, he's he's definitely got a problem," but like, not admitting the fact that I was always in the bookies too, you know. Um, the thing, and then you know the normalization of it, like oh he's doing it, I'm doing it, it's fine, right? It's just it's just part of our culture, isn't it? Right? It's just just betting. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> I've got to be in my bonnet, uh, guys. Thanks so much for listening to this video, uh, watching this video, um, and making it to the end. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos like this, um, for more vlogs, for more podcasts, more conversations. Let's let's start a conversation. Um, if you want to write a comment, that's great. If you want to get in touch, like privately, email's great. Info at the invisible addiction dot com. Um, we'll have a chat, um, or you can hit me up on social media. All right, guys, catch you soon. Wishing you well. Cheers. Bye.